This is Pullum and Ask Special Edition. I'm Kim Rodriguez, and on Special Edition, we spend a little more time on stories so we can get a deeper into our school's culture. First up, it's November, and we have a new student of the month. Videographer Matthew Villalobos and I were there when she got the news. Somewhere around here, there's a student of the month, and I can't quite find them, but Alessandra Pimento, come on up! to be student of the month? It feels uh, great but at the same time it also feels like a shocker. Um, then again like I know student of the month is a title for all these amazing students out here and to be chosen as one of those amazing students especially knowing my peers that are also equally amazing as everybody else it just feels like an honor to me as well so I really am proud of myself and I feel happy and very excited. And what obstacles do you think you face to get here? Uh, there were quite a few obstacles I faced with um, just personally like things that I've had to face with uh, my personality and like my characteristics and you know how to build on that and be a better version of myself but also like obstacle courses as in my extracurriculars it's not easy balancing my schedule all the time so you know stress is always on me but you know being able to overcome that has like helped me get in the position where I am today and I'm just yeah, I'm just proud of that. <laughs> what? Later after that, I got to visit a beautiful display for Dia de los Muertos. Take a look. Well, we're almost halfway through the school year and we all know the cell phone policy, right? No cell phones can be out any time except lunch. Some Wildcats have learned to live with it, some are struggling with it, but here's a perspective you might not have thought about. Not again. What are you in here for? My owner got caught texting her boyfriend. Oh, my pookie. I love my pookie so much. Give me the phone. Why? You got caught. Bye. Well, what about you? For me, well, my owner got caught on TikTok. Jose, sit up in your chair. <laughs> you guys shouldn't be messing around making noises. What's going on? <laughs> Nicholas, you're supposed to be doing your work. <laughs> Who's doing that? Yeah, it was Michael. Hey, it was Michael. <laughs> nah, it was Nicholas? Nah, cuz, you can't do this to me. Sorry, man, it's the rules. I know where you live! Take it in. <laughs> My owner. What did he do? Well, you know that app where you could play any siren? Yeah, what about it? Well, Mr. Bird for Brains kept spamming the fire truck siren in class until the teacher finally had enough. <laughs> Sounds like you have a really annoying owner, dude. <laughs> You're telling me. Well, like, bro literally listens to Skibbity Toilet all day. Like, it's annoying. Oh, well it is what it is. What happened with you? Well... You got fun there? I don't want to talk about it. How long are we staying here again? Until the end of the day. Crap. That unique look at the cell phone policy was produced by Paloma Nows, Deo Alukami, Aaron Guzman, and Sebastian Plants. Great job, guys. Now let's get close and personal with Wildcats. We're launching a series of profiles about individual students recalling student stories. 
Here's the first one about a previous student of the month, Javon Major. Hello, what's your name? Uh, I'm Javon Major. Uh, do you play any sports? Yes, I do wrestling and football. Why do you like to play wrestling and football? Um, wrestling, I enjoy doing because it pushes me to my limit. Um, it's an individual sport, so uh, win or lose, it's all on me. So it's easy to fix mistakes and work to improve myself. Football I enjoy because it's a fun sport to play as a team um, to see what you can accomplish. What do you like to do outside? Outside of school, I do a lot to just improve what I do in school. So I'd say fitness-wise, it's to stay in shape for my sports. And then um, I also enjoy hanging out with friends and family. Do you have any plans for after school? Like after school, I plan to go to college, um, major in hopefully some sort of engineering, civil or electrical, and then uh, play a sport as well. Whether that's football or wrestling, I haven't decided yet. Why does engineering interest you? The money, you know, that's where the money's at. Uh, I'm not too specific on what I do, but if there's bread, then I'm in it, so. A big thanks to Matthew Villalobos for producing that cool look behind the scenes of the show. Remember back a couple weeks ago when it was Halloween? Fun, right? And here on campus, we have a new event from ASB called Scare Street. Here's Sophia Chavez with a look on how it went. Right behind me is the amphitheater where Scare Street took place. There were about 20 tables and both lunches attended. And as a freshman event, ASB said it went really well. Take a look at the sights and sounds of Scare Street. Heading to the holidays, stay tuned for plenty of great events coming soon. For Paloma Now, I'm Sophia Chavez. Back to Caitlin in the studio. Thanks for that, Sophia. And also thanks to Paloma Now members Devin Fox and Lily Luna for their sights and sounds. Well, that's it for this debut episode of Paloma Now Special Edition. For the entire Special Edition crew, I'm Kim Rodriguez, and I'll be seeing you on campus.